Good day, collective. I'm here with a general healing and ascension message. Remember to only take what resonates, leave what does not. Personal readings are available. The links are in the description box. Okay, if the video resonates, don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It's a masculine that watches my channel. And you're a street pharmacist. And you stutter a little bit. I don't know what it is that you need to know. But hopefully you get it in this message. God said you need to walk away from that game. It's a lot of rivalry stuff coming up to that masculine watching. It's a masculine not telling you something that you need to know. And so that's why you watching tarot and you came to my channel because you feel like I can be tapped in enough to tell you or whatever. Um, your actual karmics, your low vibrational karmics, they know it's like shit look like the apocalypse happening to them in their life. For divine people like myself, enlightened people, aware people, self-aware and what have you my life don't look like no fucking apocalypse on the inside or outside the people that you're gonna find yourself you already done emotionally detached from and walking away from physically quickly when you leave that relationship even though shoddy is pregnant spell work from overseas was done for you to marry her for you to, for that baby to be created as well it's not real love you have the Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, Star card. Yes, yeah, she got pregnant. She paid somebody overseas, like I said, to bind you through pregnancy. It wasn't a positive choice, and I'm I'm presuming that your ancestors, you have a soulmate in the spiritual realm that was taken from you too soon. You know who that soulmate is. And they're bringing this exposure to you. And it's a feather flying across my windshield. So, sir, you have a will of fortune. You need to be going with the ebb and flow. When you feeling heartbroken and, and toxic and feeling dangerous, when you in this energy, sir, it's time for you to literally physically leave the pregnant person. You've already received this type of intellect. Your intuition has already told you you're going to have to put that situation to rest. Your fiance, your wife, your mom, your grandma, whatever, however this that resonates for you, that's a manipulative principality within itself. It's all like been lies and spells and magic. Sometimes you had dreams and you wondering if your dream life is actually your real life and not what you waking up to. You're gonna receive a lot of a lot more spiritual communication, sir. You're going to receive a lot more spiritual communication. And your ancestors said, go ahead and go through with that paperwork. Either you're going to have an epiphany or you've had an epiphany or something's going to be given to you in some shape, form, or fashion that you're going to be able to get out of the situation that you were in. I feel like you you got some anxiety because of the people that you work with and your coworkers and teams and your your sweet loving relative and all of that one of one of your younger relatives told you something about their parent who is also your relative take heed to what that child told you take heed to what that child told you okay i know children lie but we living in a time y'all god rules the children karmic children different things are happening to them and within them that child isn't a karmic that child is actually psychic that child is telepathic the relative not the relative child not the one that she's pregnant with whatever she's pregnant with is very um dark and god is in her womb is what i'm hearing and maybe you realize you was a twin flame so you decided to you know walk away yeah you realize this bitch kept saying she pregnant and pregnant and pregnant over and over again and now it's finally here you done put enough together 
to know oh okay yeah you already knew that she was gonna tell you that she was pregnant or something like that I would say just gather your evidence, gather your receipts, gather your bank statements, subpoena whatever is necessary. Leave whoever out in the cold that's trying to steal how you gallivant with that thing. God said I could call that a thing. What else does my collective need to know? Y'all, wow. Someone did do spell work on someone's transportation trying to get someone hurt it wasn't death they just wanted them to repetitively end up fucked up by a car accident all of that was taken down the devil and metatron had a conversation about how many times some car accident spills were paid for this is ridiculous to my earth angels out there y'all please keep y'all spiritual heads 10 feet above situations that you know are karmic situations that you know are from past life situations that trigger inner childhood memories for you that may or may not be pleasant that full car energy doesn't mean take a leap of faith to do something immature and not change it means actually you need to do the opposite of what you've been doing Masculine energies, y'all should know this by now. It's best for you to listen to your own intuition, be emotionally available to yourself. There's a water sign, masculine. Your attorney um, slept with your baby mama or something like that. That's whose baby it is or something. Somebody co-worker, somebody that slept with somebody during some work time and what have you, and a pregnancy has been created. Could be involving a Virgo. Somebody could be a Virgo. Yeah, somebody got pregnant real, 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 real quick and fast. This is ridiculous. <sighs> Cursed. Hurt. Somebody's trying to get a baby surgically implanted into them. So I'm assuming this is the energy of someone that was not born a woman. And they're feeling stressed and burdened right now. Because they want to have a baby but they weren't born with the uterus. To those that know y'all associate with uh, transgender men or you've left people out in the cold. Okay, so I'm picking up on some energy. It's some energies of individuals watching right now. And y'all feel attacked by those collective members that you know have worked together to go against you in some type of way possibly you you go against your child or try to curse your child because they're jealous that you gave birth to that child naturally that was a mouthful but that's exactly what that was yeah i mean anybody can spiritually attack individuals for whatever low vibrational purposes moving right along moving forward though to the energies watching make sure you watch that four of cups video if you haven't already especially to my masculine energies that are trying to work on themselves or do work to cause towers or you are uh literally untethering from spell work where you are binded to entities i'm hearing that as well yeah keep blocking and banishing returning clearing protecting the universe hears your wishes i guess it's some feminine energies that repetitively have been using moon magic for fertility whether it was to give birth to children or give birth to reputations and creations and things like that the truth is going to be exposed about the pregnancies and it's going to cause people a lot of people i'm hearing to juggle 
it's going to cause individuals to juggle businesses to juggle and corporations to juggle i feel like that truth has uh came out to certain individuals that needed to know that work in those type of industries Somebody's about to lose a job. Somebody about to lose reputation. Somebody about to lose stability. Somebody about to lose a relationship. Could be you. Could be your person. Could be someone that's connected to y'all. Could be a past life soulmate. Could be a childhood friend. Could be a child's father. Could be an emotionally immature ass female. Ancestors said could be all of the above. <laughs> Ancestors said work with them, not against them. Work with them, not against them. Divine masculine. If you know someone's lying about a child or lying, giving a deceitful apology in general, to cause you to be delayed and stuck because they're jealous that you've planted seeds and ended um, isolating yourself. Someone's watching your wishes come true and they want to go and like go to a group of people to try to cause you burdens and they've been blocked by the whole group of people. It don't matter if the people had sex with them. It don't matter if the people, however long they done known them, if they were their shooters or anything like that, they've been blocked. Somebody got blocked. Somebody, yeah, somebody got blocked. Restriction mode. Some low vibrational feminine trying to come up with a sorry ass excuse to why they out here being foolish. And don't ever blame depression on why you out here playing with people spiritually and sexually. That's not an excuse. Everybody knows better than that. If you feeling depressed, you should not be out here using sex and spirituality as an excuse. Moving forward to some brainwashed ass, irresponsible, heartbroken past having social media illusion create and fronting. It's somebody with a lot of um, knowledge and and um, stamina that's going to meet with you eye to eye. You're going to go travel to pick up some money or sign the paperwork on that, uh, the house or property or whatever. And boom, you're going to be smack dead in judgment. And the person that you thought you never thought, that's going to be who's giving it to you. And you're going to have to look them dead in the eye. And I heard that she's real, real cutthroat. So be looking for an ending of something coming during that time. This uh, masculine is real, real immature. Because his inner child is literally binded to the conflict, competition, physical battles, and altercations that this person is like literally like, I don't know, I guess just stuck in. It's a lot of death and hurt and turmoil that this person, like mentally, this person is already in the duat. And so when they walk around physically, they don't really see what other people that are not in the duat see. And so they try to cause towers to emotionally available people. Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces. Your karmics have planned on using your energy to hold on to a pretty penny. Because they had already received karma from a situation that they thought was moving forward. It's not. 
they scared of a Leo placement or a Leo in general. They could just be scared of your strength in general. So some of y'all that, like I said, have walked away, no longer making split decisions off of y'all friends and shit, opinions and how they feel. If you are awakening and you feel like you're a twin flame, you go have to really, really learn internal wisdom to interpret the external wisdom that is still to be learned during your journey. I'm looking at a dragonfly dancing with me. I mean, feminines that... Okay, so somebody has a question as far as feminines being left out in the cold while pregnant. And I guess the stigma to, oh, that's not right. Or, well, you know, fuck them type of attitude, whatever. Whoop -de -whoop. Speaking from experience that have been pregnant and left and also have been pregnant and left the other person. I just feel like, why is this? A, why is that a debate or a dilemma? The message is have protective sex if you don't want to risk making a child with somebody that you're not going to spend forever with god is already on top of whoever it don't matter how long ago whoever has created a child out of a bondage energy to hold someone back or to cause negative situations to occur or alter that person's destiny god is going to handle them you don't have to be like oh she got left i wonder if she a karmic or a divine feminine why are you worried about it you have to ask yourself, why are you worried about that? Are you taking care of that unborn baby? Are you taking care of the child? It's some men that are having sex with pregnant women knowing that they're not, um, that's not their child. The feminine energies ain't doing nothing but binding y'all to them. So that child is going to have a spiritual binding to those men and it's going to be toxic I'm sorry 304s but 304s have to be left out in the cold this is not this is definitely not the energy of the 70s and I would know this is not this is ridiculous so I'm not condoning that 304 shit and those that do God gonna handle it men women that like women y'all stop sexually and spiritually engaging with hoes and you won't feel so much conflict you won't feel confused you won't feel undecided about decisions when it comes to moving forward or what's your bigger plan and vision. Stop allowing other people's energy to cloud your fucking vision. It's not clouding your aura, but it's clouding your vision for yourself. And that's going to attract the, the toxic energy, the toxic situations. You're going to be moving closer and closer to exactly what you don't want. Because you listen to people or you listen to energy. You move with the vibration of energy that's not for you it goes against you but you got to be mature to understand that but um if the video resonates don't forget to like the channel subscribe if you're not already talk to you later bye